Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another FFG Live. Today we're going to be talking about the cunning aspect for Star Wars Unlimited. But before we get into all the exciting things that this aspect does and some, you know, some preview cards, as you all, uh, I'm sure, are expecting, I'm going to introduce uh, who we're with today. So, who are you? I'm Xander. <laughs> I'm your host. Uh, you might have recognized, recognized me from the last stream we had. <laughs> I'll be around more often now. Yay. Uh, woo, it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun. Uh, and then, so I'm joined today with a very familiar face for you all. D, Tyler Parrott. <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, what is it, Hollywood Junior? Is that the Mr. Hollywood Junior <laughs> was uh, on the How stream? How did that come I from? I never heard that one. I think that, that was one. at TwitchCon. That was at TwitchCon. TwitchCon, yeah, yeah. TwitchCon Mr. Con, Hollywood Junior. Time. Yes. We're, we're, we love TwitchCon. <laughs> we had a great time. Uh, so yes, Mr. Hollywood Junior. Uh, do you want to say anything? Like introduce yourself again for people who might be tuning in for the first time. I'm a senior game designer who made this game. Is making this game. Present tense. <laughs> yep. And then joined by a new face here, we have. Hyperspace Joe O'Neill. It's me, Hyperspace Joe, I guess, <laughs> or just Joe, whatever you want to call me. It's Hyperspace Joe. You get, right, for the you next get couple one days. nickname? No, you get one nickname and you never escape And it. that will stick forever. <laughs> Chat will never forgive it. Listen, we haven't forgotten it. This, no. Hyperspace Joe was months ago. It's true. <laughs> it's a good one, though. Yeah, like, no, of all the nicknames to be stuck with, that one's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah much yeah, better. For sure. So, Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, you're obviously a game designer. I know it's sit on the screen there for everyone at home, but... Yeah, tell us about who you are, what <laughs> brought you here, and uh, what you're doing now as a designer here. Yeah, of course. Um, my name is Joe. I am one of four new designers, the second to be on stream, so really excited to be here. Um, I got into TCGs when I was like five or six, started collecting and playing, and have never quit playing. So it's a dream job to be here doing this, designing the game. Um, I'm in charge of a set down the line that I'm super excited for and I can't say anything about yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't even but try it. Good things in store. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be great. Fun time. I, I'm super excited for it. So, we'll, we'll get to that, you know... In a couple years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down the road uh, It's someday, such a painful right? wait. It, yeah, that is. Uh, so, uh, like we said, we're gonna be talking about cunning today. So, cunning, the aspect. What 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 is Cunning's whole deal, Tyler? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, I I can I can tell you about it, and I will. Even. And you will. Uh, cunning is the yellow aspect. It's the last aspect we haven't covered. Uh, cunning is. Um, can we scroll down a little bit? Uh, cunning is the color of disrupting the opponent in the moment. It's about acting now, and it's about making your opponent not be comfortable. Uh, it's 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 all about surprises. It's all about tricks. It's all about being unpredictable. Uh, Yellow doesn't want to anyone else to uh, be able to execute on their plans when they want to execute on them. Uh, any uh, when Yellow is involved, anything could happen at any moment. Uh, anything could happen. And and that's and that's kind of the 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 a defining feature of it. Uh, it's what makes yellow fun for a lot of players. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that's, just that's unpredictable I was like, yeah, word for it. it's a bit it's, of a it's, jack of all trades. To, oh, to, geez. What are hey, you doing here? Hey, get out, get out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, since he's here, we might as well talk about him. Yeah. So we have Greedo. <laughs> Showed up unannounced and uninvited. Uninvited. Just like yellow likes to do. <laughs> just like yellow likes to do. Yep. Uh, Greedo is a one cost uh, ground unit and he hits hard and dies and when he dies he maybe shoots a guy. Maybe. Maybe, but probably not. Is it first though? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> of course not. Of course, of course not. First he has to die. Um, uh, fun fact about Greedo is he uh, shows off a lot of what Cunning is about because he cares about non-units. Um, mm -hmm. This will come up later, but uh, non non-units is a theme for yellow because Units are important, but also you know what's really you know what's really cunning is tricks and surprises. Tricks and surprises. So, what kind of tricks and surprises are we in store for here? Is like some of them maybe like readying a resource and things like you might have already seen with. Well, we've seen some leaders. Yeah. Joe, you want to talk about some leaders? Yeah, of course. So we've got uh, two yellow leaders that do interact with resources in that way. Um, which one is first? Do we have Boba Fett up? So. Boba Fett can ready your own resources. So when you're playing yellow, you should always feel a little bit like you're cheating. You get double <laughs> use out of your resources when other colors don't get to do that. 
So I only have four recesses, resources in play. But surprise, it feels like I have six because when uh, Boba Fett gets to do his thing, enemy units leaving play on the leader side or completing an attack with the unit side, you get to ready two resources again and really get a lot of use out of uh, the early game, whereas other uh, cards might not be able to. Yellow, you should feel like you're cheating. I'm putting that in the document. Yeah, <laughs> put that in the rules book. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's why I like playing yellow so much. It's yeah. just like, I don't, I don't wanna play fair. No, yellow's so fun. Yeah. I was so happy to be on the yellow stream specifically. Uh, nice. Cunning is, uh, I've described cunning as the game designer's fact, the game designer's aspect. The game because, makes, yeah. because the, the kinds of like weirdo off the wall plays that game designers mm -hmm. like to do, that's what yellow gets to do. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then we also have Han. Are we ready to show a Han Solo? Yeah. There he is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so Han, similar to uh, Boba Fett in acting with your resources, he, instead of readying your own resources, gets you an extra one. But it only lasts for this turn, and then it gets defeated during the uh, regroup phase or the start the next action phase. So you really have to be clever about when you pull this trigger because you'll be losing the cards from your hand, but you'll be getting a huge advantage for that turn. So that's why yellow is cunning. You always have to be making those little choices that make such a big impact as the game goes on. Um, and also Han really highlights the in the moment nature of the, of the color. Yes. Uh, of, of all the colors, yellow is going to sacrifice the future for the present. Mm -hmm. uh, the, it will be most willing to sacrifice the future for the present. All um, about that tempo. Because they are all about that tempo. Speaking of tempo, you know what else they can do? <laughs> what else can they do? Can they bounce units? They can put units back in their hand. Yes, so they you can. can't have them on the board. But maybe you'll have them later, but that's fine. You'll be dead. Yeah. No, <laughs> this is such a good card, too. There's so many different ways to use this. Um, yellow is great at returning units to the enemy hand. You could return your own unit to your own hand if you wanted. Um, there's so many different ways to use this card, which is, again, all about yellow's cleverness and tempo control. So use it to exhaust a unit that was ready because if they want to play it again, guess what? It comes in exhausted. Oh no, that big scary unit's in play? No, it's not. Get rid of it. Not anymore. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, so other things that yellow can do. Uh, we've seen resource uh, we've, we've seen resource readying and resource like temporary acceleration. Um, they also can exhaust resources uh, as a tempo, mm -hmm. like you don't get to play this card this turn because you're down a resource. Mm -hmm. uh, they can bounce things. Um, they're also uh, the color, I, I alluded to this with Greedo, they're the color of non-units, which often turns into events. Uh, we showed off Bosk at uh, TwitchCon. Yeah. Bosk says when you play events, shoot people. Um, uh, they are. They have the most cards that care about events. They have the most cards that, the most uh, just variety of wacky things that events can mm -hmm. do. Um, they're all about getting in damage early. Uh, mm -hmm. So surprise strike, for instance, is an event that gets in damage early. Your opponent thinks they know what the combat math of the board is, and then you surprise them with three additional damage. They thought they were safe. Now they're dead. Uh, right. So th this is the kind of design that you're going to see a lot in yellow. Is uh, Events that do something right now that your opponent didn't, couldn't plan for or didn't see coming. Um, they also, uh, because this is a game all about units, uh, they also have a bunch of units that act now. They don't want to wait. They didn't want to wait for, for you to replay your waylaid unit. No. They want to act now. Uh, so you'll see a lot of when played abilities. You'll see a lot of cards with ambush. You'll, you'll see a very small handful of cards that enter play ready. Uh, Which they've seen. They've uh, seen the Millennium Falcon. Oh, and Fett's Fire Spray. And Fett's Fire Spray, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Situational one, Situational but still. One, yeah. But yeah. still yeah. yeah, exactly. So uh, red, the uh, aggression color, gets access to ready a unit that's already on the board. Yellow gets access to play a unit and it is ready immediately. Mm -hmm. um, so let's show off uh, Syndicate Lackeys, uh, which is a new preview card. Mm -hmm. Very simple, but yellow, they get to ambush stuff because yeah. they want to act now. Um, this is, this is a, a card mostly designed for draft. Yep. I don't expect it to see a ton of play in, in constructed competitive, but uh, it's going to be, it's going to do its job. Yeah. And that's all you can really ask for in draft sometimes. <laughs> a 5-4 with ambush, yeah, well, that's, that, that can swing the game in draft for sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what else we got? Well, so. 
We did we talk about exhausting yet? That's something Yellow yeah. likes to Just do. Just resources, but yeah. We can. Yeah, so in addition to exhausting, readying resources, Yellow can do the same thing to units. Um, there's lots of effects that'll do it, but one particularly spicy card is No Good to Me Dead. Can we put that up on the screen? We will find it. We will We've, find it. There, there it, it is. is. Oh, it's so good. Love that art. Classic moment, too. But No Good to Me Dead exhausts a unit, and in addition to that, that unit cannot ready for this round. So that is basically two exhausts in a row. This goes into every yellow villain deck I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, hits several leaders. sets down the line. It hits leaders. That's so that's significant. Um, what if your yeah. leader just didn't participate in the game for a couple rounds? No. You know? If you're a yellow player, just throw three copies of this in all the time. You'll never regret it. They're playing Sabine, and they think, you know, I'm going to have that leader out there two turns before you no, uh, you're can not. bring somebody out. Nah, nah, don't worry about that. We'll we're just, just going to go sit down. No, um, that's not a four drop. It's a six drop. My favorite thing to say in playtesting when I exhaust enemy units is, go sit down. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, uh, that was designed to, to go with Boa Fett. Um, fun mm -hmm. fact. There's a reason it costs two. He readies two resources, right? Seems it's pretty it's obvious. Perfect. But it's almost like that's the kind of thing that uh, that we like to we like to do to make little thematic yeah. synergies there. Um, another thing that yellow uh, does is they they don't want to get blocked. So uh, red is also a color of of evading uh, enemy defenses, right? They saboteur their way through things. Um, yellow also has access to saboteur, uh, but a little bit. But red does saboteur a little bit more. And yellow does uh, cheap space units a little bit more, right? So if the space lane is intended to be your sort of evasion lane because there's just fewer spaceships in general, mm -hmm. then, uh, then yellow is going to have more things that go there because, you know, if I have a two-cost spaceship or a three-cost spaceship like the Millennium Falcon, mm -hmm. uh, it is going to be harder to, for my opponent to defend against because most of their units are on the, on the ground. Yeah. Uh, and I have this Millennium Falcon that's in space, and you're a fool for thinking that you could block <laughs> me, right? Um, the Falcon is really like a quintessential yellow card because it comes in ready, it is a cheap spaceship, and uh, you have to keep paying for it, which means you really don't want the game to go on longer mm -hmm. than, than, you know? It's this, like, hyper-tempo card. Uh, also, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's really yeah. strong. We're showing oh, off a lot of really good cards here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I want to show off my favorite card, my favorite cunning card in the whole set, though. Go for it. Because um, this, this card has a, a long history in development, and I'm going to tell that story today yeah. because no one can stop me. Um, <laughs> so first, let's just say what it is. Uh, this is a cheap event that looks at your opponent's hand. Uh, you look at your opponent's hand, you choose whatever card you don't want them to have, and then you make them discard it. It's called Spark of Rebellion. It is the name of the set, although that was coincidentally not intentional. Um, <laughs> I just learned about this before we, the stream. Yeah. We were just chatting about it. Um, so uh, this card has a bunch of things going for it. The first thing it has going for it is you look at their hand, you pick a card, they discard it. That's it. Whatever your plan was, it's gone now. It sucks to be you. Uh, this was originally called Sabotage in design. Uh, and it had that art, and it was what you think. You look at their hand, you take away the, you sabotage mm -hmm. the thing that you want them to go away, etc. Then, uh, at one point during design, we updated the text on Hera because we were like, oh, what if Hera could play Spectre non-units, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, that, that would let her have access to more cards because, you know, there's only so many Spectres in the lore. Um, and there was one card that was already in the set that was like, slam dunk, this is obviously a Spectre event. You don't get to know what it is yet. Uh, but then we were like, what other one's options exist? And I saw the art of Kanan blowing up a, a TIE fighter and I was like, oh, that's a pretty Spectre move. Yeah. That, this could totally be Spectre. If it was Spectre, what would it be called? And then, obviously, I'm, I'm disrupting your plans before they happen. It's a, it's, we're starting a rebellion. Spark of Rebellion, perfect title. It's also one of the most Spectre titles I could possibly yeah. think of, right? It's the f name of the first episode of All of Rebels. Um, and also, this particular effect, for Hera specifically, means that you know, even if she only has access to half a dozen cards, or I don't, I don't know how many, it's, it's not a lot, right? Because there's only so many specters, and then there's some, some non-unit non specters. But that's only, you could fit it on two hands, probably. Mm -hmm. So we want those cards to be good. So every Hera deck now just gets to have access to look at your opponent's hand and take away their best card, if that's an effect you want. And you don't even need to be in Cunning to do it. Wow. 
Yeah, she's going to be spicy. Yeah, she's yeah. Gonna for all of you up. at home who were already looking forward to Hera, <laughs> looking forward to seeing all the rest of the Spectres, I mean, now you have something more to look forward to with yeah. Spectre events. With Spectre that events. are just absurdly good. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, as good as we could get away with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. At within some point, reason, within reason. At some point, you still want the game to be balanced. <laughs> <laughs> as much as some people don't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll out myself. Uh, so, I love doing be- wacky plays. Oh, before we get into, you know, everyone's favorite game, is there anything favorite else you really want to, like, talk about it cunning? Any other hints uh, you want to drop? I, I think, think we- the next card is my favorite card in the whole game. And is that it really? remains tr- It's up there. Wow. Okay. Well, let's not, let's not let's, get away from it then. Yeah, let's go jump right in. So, Show me the card. Do it. Uh, jokes it's on cunning. you, you don't get to see the text. Yeah, so we're playing the classic game. We're, we're going to ask you all to guess what you think the abilities are on Cunning, and if we see them, we will shout uh, them out. I saw people guessing what this card would do on social media, like, <laughs> well before this stream started. Oh, They yeah. knew this was coming. They're ready. They're ready. They're like, okay, what do we think it's going to do? We, we've seen all these other effects. Well, now you've seen a few more effects. There were some great guesses, too. Okay. Let's see what the guesses are also bring in the guesses help me remember mm-hmm. help, help me remember if i forget um what the order of the card abilities is because right, i know what they all are exhaust, exhaust, two units. <laughs> exhaust two resources uh i see a good guess exhaust resources no we're close on bounce one. a unit bounce an <gasps> opponent's unit there it is which um, one is that i'm going to give you i'm going to give you that because there's a condition on what you can bounce because Bounce unit is like it's really, really, really strong. strong. Yeah. Um, so non leader because you can't put leaders in your hand yeah. and power four or less because boy, let me tell you, if this was just also waylay, that would be way too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see. Oh, you're really oh, close. Yeah, some good ones there. I see. Oh, I see. I see attack the... with a unit and give it plus three plus zero. Oh. That's I, so close. I will give it to you because. That's what it was originally going to do. Oh, I didn't know that. didn't fit on the card. <laughs> <laughs> there was too much text, and we're like, well, we got to cut something. Okay, I guess we'll have to cut the attack, but we'll give you an extra power, point that of power to That is the hard thing with these bullet-pointed cards. Oh, my God, yeah. Especially for yellow, because yellow mm-hmm. wants to do all the wacky stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, exhaust unit, and basically, uh, no good to me dead. This I will say you're really was. close with exhaust a unit. Go down that train a little further. Can we? No, 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 no. We're not going to give it to them. Yes, the plus four. Plus no, yeah, that's good. make um, them guess. I'll give. I'll plus give you this four, much. Yeah. One of them exhausts does involve exhausting units, but there's an mm-hmm. extra extra twist. Yeah, everybody's yeah, really plus four is really high on this. Fantastic. Plus four. See, this just shows. How much yellow can do? Um, it is no, so hard wait, to guess. Sorry, someone guessed this a while ago, and yeah. I just forgot to follow up on it. Uh, discard a card from your hand. Okay. Uh, yes. If that got is, did, did someone say discard a random card? I think someone said discard a random card. If not, yeah. congratulations, it's that. Yeah, I see a lot of discard, but it <laughs> doesn't say discard. random. Good um, enough. So I will inter interlude and tell a quick story about that, which is uh, oh. um, uh, aggression will get to discard cards from your opponent's hand as a feature. Um, but when aggression does it, the opponent gets to choose. Mm-hmm. When cunning does it, the opponent doesn't get to choose. That's the rule. Either I get to choose or nobody gets to choose. <laughs> and red is all about the choices. And, and red is just like, I want your numbers to go down. Yeah. I don't care what they are. Yellow is like, I care a lot about what they are. Uh, it does look like somebody did guess. Oh, did somebody guess final, it? Yeah, all right. Uh, we just got word that somebody did guess it, so we can reveal the final ability. We got exhaust two units? That's, yeah. yeah. Uh, Not one, but two. Get rid of three cards at the same time with this. Exhaust two units, return another to the hand. Guess what? You don't get aboard you, this turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, exactly. So no, this card's super duper yeah, good. No, um, best card. Yeah, I expect. I, act- I genuinely expect it to appear in tournaments. Like, yeah. yeah. Very also, good. the art's amazing. Also, the art's I'm great. playing cards. He's playing cards. Yeah, it feels yeah. good. Uh, we have had to tell uh, various people in various places, some, many of whom are marketing, uh, to stop using this art piece <laughs> because it's just so obvious that you use the car- the art of the dude playing cards to market the card game. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah. just makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, now that they're all out, I wanna I wanna highlight this fun fact. Um, we have Command, which features the original trilogy. We have this. Uh, we have Cunning, which features Solo, which is close, but not the same. We have uh, Aggression, which features the sequel trilogy. And we have Vigilance, which features the prequel trilogy. 
uh, that was intentional, that I wanted to try to cover as, as much of the time period of Star mm -hmm. Wars uh, as possible with these very foundational cards. That's really cool. Yeah. So, thank you all for joining us for a little chat about cunning and great job guessing them. You had a, you had a lot to work with, so yeah. I, yes. I, it was now, hard to narrow it down. Now that now that we're on the fourth instant or the the fourth stream of these, people have started to figure out what the pattern is. Yeah, yeah. No, they've guessed really... it in advance. They're just waiting. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. They have all the answers typed up. They're just copy and pasting them in the chat yeah. from their already <laughs> guessed ones. They're like, we guess like we have like six different versions of exhaust a unit. Okay, we're just gonna put one in. No, not that one. Okay, Do the next again. one. Okay, now the next one. Yeah. <laughs> So, we do have a couple of questions that we saw from the chat. So, one of them is, so you can search your deck for the card you discard with Greedo? No. No, it's just no. the top. Oh, yes. Uh, that's a great, because that's a templating question that is not immediately obvious. Mm. Um, whenever you draw cards from your deck, you always draw from the top. Whenever you discard cards from your deck, you also discard from the top. That's just in the rules. So, good question. Yeah, yeah, that's something that, that, that I forgot. Because yeah. it was like, oh, I really want this to be in the templating like three years ago. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> uh, so our final question, which we knew we were going to get right when we brought it up, mm -hmm. was, Joe, would you mind saying which set, number, not name, nothing else, number. Not name and giving away what the set's all about. Yep. Number you were working on. Number five. Yeah. So when that comes out, know that it's me, <laughs> and I hope that you like it. We're doing some really exciting things with that. So I'm, I'm very excited to actually see that in the world and see everyone's reactions. And if you don't like it, it was Xander's fault. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's my fault. I, I play tested poorly. I was just like, well, I like this character, so they should be way better. Sorry. Yeah, no, all of Xander's feedback just drove it down. <laughs> um, cool. So before we sign Set off, Joe. we have just a <laughs> uh, we have a couple things that we just wanted to chat about, which is we will be going to PAX Unplugged here soon. So uh, I believe you're going to be there. Let's go. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to be talking with everyone running demos. We're going to be doing some signing sessions, I believe, so you can get your promo card signed by our wonderful designers that will be on site. Uh, we will also yeah, just be hanging around all weekend, so please stop by. Mm -hmm. We're going to put more information about that out soon, but I believe we're in Hall C, so if you're you know, making your game plan of how to run into the hall right I, away and I, get there. I cannot say this enough. Yeah. I want the full set to be out so that I can go to these events and play people with the decks they've built. Oh. I want to see the decks that people build for this game so badly. <laughs> I am so excited for March. Oh my gosh, yeah. I cannot get that point across of like, I'm just ready to yeah bring my deck and see what people, like wacky things you come up with with yours. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, we also uh, will have the article going live soon uh, to for uh, Cunning showing all these preview cards. So if you didn't get a good look at them or you want to see them again and read a little bit more about the aspect, that'll be out. Uh, and finally, uh, we will, oh, so we just got a question. The demos at PAX will be walk up. You do not need tickets. You do not need uh, anything in advance. Just show up and play. Uh, and same with the uh, signings as well. It's all, it's all walk up. There's no need to stress about making sure you get tickets or anything. No, for the signings, the rule is you have to find me. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hide Tyler somewhere in the convention yeah, center. Exactly. If you can find him, you can have whatever you want. To have. It's great. <laughs> Uh, and so finally, we also have, uh, besides our normal articles for all these aspects, we do have videos that will be going live, likely by the end of the month, that kind of highlight the basics of these aspects, showing some of these cards that we've already shown you, to say this is what these aspects do, and break it down for you. So if you are, you know, you're always playing Cunning and Vigilance, and all of a sudden you're like, I want to try out an aggression deck, and you can't remember what you're going to be expecting when you play that, this will be a good video to help refresh that uh, in your memories. It's going to be really cool. The videos look great. So looking forward to showing those uh, to you all as well. And I believe, do we have any other questions from the chat? No. We got one. We got what? one. And, oh. and maybe I'm going to go rogue and answer it by not answering it. They really want me to talk about this Lando art piece, and I won't. Oh, yeah. I'll just acknowledge its existence yeah. and tell you <laughs> it's a really cool card, and I'm really excited about it, and you don't get to know about it yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's really cool. So, yeah, you can definitely look forward to that one. Um, and I don't see, yeah, anything else there. So, great. Uh, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, like we mentioned at most times, uh, please go follow our socials. We're at, at UnlimitedFFG on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can also check for updates on our website as well, uh, which is StarWarsUnlimited.com. So be sure to make sure you follow those, and you'll be the first to hear about any news that we have, you know, card reveals, things like that. So 
Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you both for coming on and talking about Thank you, Xander. The, the best aspect. It's uh, the best. Yeah. They put, in a, they put a camera here and then just left the door open, so I wanted in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thank you again for joining us. We will see you all next time. Have a good one.